I accidentally formatted this SD card and now I can recover all of my photos and videos with saving the data in this folder. You have successfully recovered. What is going on guys? This is Roy and welcome to another brand new video and hope you guys are doing great. Last month I was invited to a wedding, my cousin's wedding. Uh, because of COVID-19, the wedding was low profile, only few people, narrow 50 to 100 people are invited. So my brother requested me to click some photos and videos for their wedding. So I took my DSLR and captured a lot of photos and videos of the wedding. After the end of the wedding, I forget to take the backup of the SD card. The SD card left inside the camera and I came back to my home and after that I get sick. I have fever, I have headache and few days later, I was tested COVID positive, my whole family got COVID positive and thankfully nothing happened and I survived the COVID-19. I will share with you my COVID-19 story in any upcoming videos. But two days ago, I was shooting some YouTube video using my camera and then I saw my SD card was full and by mistake, I formatted the SD card and inside the SD card, there are all of those waiting photos and videos and now everything is gone. Also my Windows 10 PC, which I use as my main working PC, was died a few days ago so I cannot use it to recover those photos and videos I have a couple of software already installed on my Windows 10 PC so today I'm going to try my Mac MacBook Pro and using this MacBook Pro I try to recover this SD card hope I recovered all of these footage and videos so guys let's see what happened so guys this is my camera and inside this camera I have the formatted SD card if I turn on the camera and try to play so it's showing there is no image is it now turn off the camera here is the sd card slot remove the sd card and i'll put it on my macbook now this is the sd card and it's showing there is no image there is nothing in this sd card two folder ones only to recover the data from this formatted SD card, we're going to download a software. To download a software, we open our browser. I'm using a Safari browser and going to this website www.stellarinfo.com free mac data recovery.psp. Uh, hope you guys can see it. Okay, so going to this website and we'll download this software. So free download. Now here it's asking my name and email address. This is my email address and if you guys have any problem you can email me on roytechtips at the rate of gmail.com now captcha 4 plus 8 equal to 12 now click here free download so it's now started downloading okay here it is downloaded it's 84.1 mb so download complete it's a zip file so this is the zip file uh, now i'm going to click it to install the software Okay, now it's asking me to drag uh, this icon to the application folder to drag it. Okay, so drag complete. Now it's probably show up on launchpad. So this is the Stellar Data Recovery software. Let's click it to open. Stellar Data Recovery is an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, I want to open it. Open. Now it's asking me password, my MacBook password. Let's put the password and then click OK. Password put it okay. Uh, now it's asking me for the agreement. If you want to read it, you can read it. I just going to agree it to recover my data. Agree initializing, it will take some time. Okay, now select what you want to recover, recover everything. Okay, let's recover everything. But if you just want to recover photos and videos, you can turn all of this thing off like this way. Okay, I will recover everything. Do next. So now you need to choose the volume that you want to recover. So for me, this no name. I want to recover data from this drive. No name select a scan and here we have an option for deep scan. So normal scan not able to find any data. Turn on this deep scan and it will scan sector by sector. It will take long time and probably it will help you to recover more data. So I first I will turn off it and see what happened. Scan. Now the software is looking for my recoverable files. This may take some time depending on the size and condition of your storage media. 
ओके स्कैनिंग कम्प्लीटेड वन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी थ्री फाइल्स फाउंड इन थार्टी थ्री फोल्डर फाइव पॉइंट जिरो वन जी बी डेटा रिकवरेबल ओके हेयर इज अ टिप्स इन केस यू डोंट फाइंड वॉट यू आर लुकिंग फॉर प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द डीप स्कैन एट द बटम अफ द रिजल्ट उन्डो फॉर बेटर रिजल्ट सो इट एक्स यू टू क्लिक हियर इफ आई डोंट फाइंड एनी फाइल्स दैट आई सपोज टू फाइंड सो क्लिक ओके सो लेट्स यू वॉट वी फाइंड हियर सो यू फाइंड अ फोल्डर yeah there is so uh there is some files images so if you click on here you can um, preview the images <laughs> and here as you see we have few picture of me i i just save on this sd card and here we have some videos i think yeah here we have some videos Now you can preview these files also. You can double click it and it will show up. So this is the preview of a video. It's playing without any problem. All of these files and folders are found inside this SD card. This no name, no name. And if I open it, you will see nothing. There is nothing on this SD card. Nothing. There is nothing on the SD card. and here guys as you see we have three types classic list file list and deleted list so this is the classic list so whatever files and folders all of these will show up here and you can browse through uh, these files and folders like this way and if you go to file list it will organize the file according to file format like this is the audio so if i have some audio files they will show up here some wmb file it is the wmb files So if I can play this WMV file like this. So I'm talking. This is the WMV file, and then video file, some MP4 files. Okay. Ah, uh, if I double click in, it will preview the file. So finally, project. And those photos, you see, and uh, this is PSD, uh, the raw Photoshop file, and here we have some JPEG file, and here as you see, cross sign. I think this sign means is deleted. and applications if you lost any applications from your hard drive you can recover that too so this is some uh, files from some application and uh, then here is some deleted list okay so those are deleted photos and videos now here we have a search option it is quite helpful if you know the file name So as I search here, we get a file. I trying to find the wedding pictures, but I only find seven eight photos here, but none of the wedding photos. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a deep scan here and click here to scan. And a deep scan and and it will scan sector by sector. It will take time depending on the size of the SD card and the speed of your SD card. So I will pause the video here and when the scan complete, I will talk with you then. <laughs> oh my god uh, scanning completed successfully 820 files found in 59 folders 19.16 gb of data recoverable oh my god it's huge amount of data the uh, first time we get a 5 point something gbs and now it's 17.6 gb uh, deep scan result will report all data found okay now let's search for those wedding photos uh here are photos and jpeg files 32 preview mode wow <laughs> we find our photos here is all of our wedding photos i accidentally formatted this sd card and now i can recover all of my photos and videos without any problem and this is the videos this is the mop file uh, the file size is little bit big so i can show you guys in demo mode preview of larger than 10 mb is not available and if you want to preview more than 10 mb file you need to purchase the software and here are some mp4 files now let's try to recover some jpeg photos some wedding photos so first we will deselect i uh, will deselect everything then we we'll select some photos uh jpeg photos so i selected 10 photos let's select some movies 
in demo mode we can recover video file less than 10 mb so we'll select couple of 10 mb video files now uh, recover this free version will recover 1 gb of data to recover more data please upgrade and register your copy of stellar data recovery we will upgrade later let's use the free version and recover few datas now it's asking me for destination folder so we'll make a folder here new folder name it recovered uh, recovered data now select browse desktop and here is the folder we created recovered data select save now it's saving the data in this folder you have successfully recovered 669 mb of data okay so this is the recovered data root this is the photos okay this is all of the recovered photos can view it like this way so uh, so this is the few uh, waiting photos we recovered and on the back if we go this is the few videos now this is the three videos and these are little clips from our lovely village so guys as you see stellar data recovery free edition able to recover video without any problem but if i want to recover all of my videos this is huge size it's around 100 mb 200 mb or more than that i need to upgrade my account without upgrade i cannot recover all of this my document so i'm going to click on upgrade now it will take a stellar data recovery website and this piece of software price is 6000 indian rupees but if you lost your data uh, this is not much because if you go to a recovery center they charge you 50,000 60,000 even luck so if your data is important to you uh, you can try this software then see whether it's able to recover your data or not if you recover it you can thinking about purchasing this software as you see guys how easy it is to recover formatted or deleted data from digital storage on Mac using Stellar Data Recovery. It's also able to recover data from unmounted drives and cropped media. Also can recover data from crashed Mac. It has the ability to create a bootable USB recovery media to boot the crashed Mac, access the storage drive and recover the data effortlessly. Also able to recover any file from Mac Time Machine. Also it can repair and recover crafted videos and photos. So guys, that's the review of Stellar Data Recovery for Mac. Hope you guys like this video. And if you guys like it, make sure to smack a big thumbs up on this video. And if you guys have any question, any suggestion, let me know in the comment section below. I definitely reply every one of your question. That's being said, my name is Obitra. I'm signing out and I will meet you too on my next video. Till then, bye-bye.